So I'm sitting here on the couch. My Amazon order for the contact paper for the counters just came in. I wasn't expecting it until Tuesday. It's here today. So I'm excited because I feel like I want to get that on first. But um, I also need to finish painting the brick on the backsplash. I probably am going to need to go and pick up some paint though. So um and i don't know if we're ready to do that today there's just a couple of other things kind of on the agenda and going to home depot to get paint was not one of them so penelope why are you taking off your clothes baby my baby sweet as can be she'd give me two flakes just from kissing me when Oh my gosh, so me and my sister are just sitting here talking about freaking Tybo. Like, who remembers Tybo with Billy Blanks? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, Tybo workouts were the bomb. I kind of think I want to bring back Tybo. I think that's what I'm going to do for my workout this week. I wonder if I can find Tybo videos on YouTube. All right, so I'm going to get ready to go in and paint in here to fill in my grout to make that white. Um, I also picked up some things from the 99 cent store earlier today. So I grabbed some shelf liners. They weren't the kind that I wanted, but I have to, have to, have to get shelf liners in my shelves right now in my cabinets because there's no shelf liners. So. So um, I definitely need something in there. So if I find a different one, I'll get that. I grabbed a nightlight to just put in one of the sockets um, so that we have a little bit of light under there until I get some kind of other light that can go underneath the cabinet. That's where it's going to go for now. I picked up one of these, these little bamboo. Um, I just used mine on the stove and I set the salt and pepper on it, but I got another one so that I, we can put our spoons on it and the cooking stuff because I don't want it to get on the counters because with that contact paper it probably might melt. <laughs> and then I just picked up these little multi-purpose cleaning cloths and these are just going to go somewhere after I'm done in the kitchen. <laughs> are all painted white I like it much I like it much better than I did last night when every time I talk she likes to make noise this is an ongoing occurrence it makes vlogging really hard these days shout out to the moms with toddlers out there that understand what I'm talking about every time you go to speak they start screaming it's all good just gotta keep up. <laughs> the bricks are all white. I feel like it looks much better than it did yesterday because yesterday I kind of was like, I could see it, but I couldn't see it and I wasn't sure if I was feeling it. And I asked Michaela, I says, uh, what happens if you do this and you don't like it? Like, do you just scrape this stuff off the wall or like, what do you do? What does somebody do if they put it up there and it's like, and they hate it? Anyways, I don't hate it though. So I'll show you what's done so far. Um, I don't know if I'm going to lay the counter stuff today or tomorrow. Um, I got to go grocery shopping really quick because we got to get uh, loaded up for the week since it is Sunday. I just wrote out my meal plan and my grocery list. I'm trying to get back on a really good and consistent meal plan because it definitely helps with grocery shopping. So I did write out our lunches and dinners for the next week and so that's what I will be shopping for and other than that I will show you what the bricks are looking like and then I gotta go to the store. So here we go. We've got some white brick and you can see my shadow. But these are them you guys. There's bricks. <laughs> I just told my husband I said I legit just made bricks on a wall. Like I'm kind of feeling myself. <laughs> I mean, a little bit. I am, though. Check it. 
So I gotta clean my light switches because I didn't take those off. So definitely, um, you know, I don't recommend leaving your light switches on there, your covers, but um, yeah. All right, so this is what we're looking like so far over here, and I get to put the rest of the paper on the counters. <laughs> And I'm gonna have probably like a whole new looking kitchen here in a sec. It's about 7.15. I'm going to clean up some dishes out of the kitchen so that I can start putting the rest of my paper down on my countertops. I was trying to contemplate if I wanted to wait until in the morning to do it or to do it right now, but I think I'm too excited. So I just want to do it right now. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna get started on that. Contact paper defeats me. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. It is not the easiest stuff to put down. So if you are ever considering buying this stuff to redo the top of a surface, you have to work with this very, very slowly. And I hear a lot of people in a lot of tutorials will say, oh, it's very forgiving. You know, you can just lift it up and place it back down. That is not true. You can lift it up and try to place it back down, but then it will also create these like wrinkles, these lines, that once those lines kind of get in there, you really can't get them out. You can try to smooth them over and flatten them out so that you can't really tell that they're there, but trust and believe me, if you get those lines in there, they're probably not going anywhere. At least I haven't figured out how to make them disappear and so far, I think I have them on like every part of this. And so one piece, it started getting really wrinkly and so I kept lifting to try to correct it and then smooth it back down. And honestly, like it started making me so frustrated because I felt like I couldn't get the lines out. And at that point, I feel like I have a wasted cut sheet. Ooh. I feel like I have a wasted cut sheet of contact paper because I mean, it's wrinkled, so I can probably cut it and use it, pieces of it for something, but as far as using the whole sheet, like I, what are you doing? Like I wanted to, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. So definitely, definitely just be mindful that it's gonna take a minute to lay this stuff down. So I think I'm gonna put this one piece on that I'm working on, and honestly, I think I'm just gonna wait until in the morning when it's bright and when I can see and when I feel better. Cause now that I'm getting frustrated, like I don't want to keep like screwing up the counters, so. Just a little disclaimer, it ain't as easy as the tutorials say. And I did my desk with this, you guys. I did my desk and my dresser like months and months ago. So this isn't my first time working with this contact paper to cover a surface. So maybe tonight I'm just not on my game. Perhaps I just need to take a break and start DIY overload right now. All right, I'm done for the night. I finished the countertop. Um, I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like in the morning, in the natural daylight. It was a lot, like, especially, and I think that I have a small kitchen with like a tiny bit of counter space, so. Um, I did see a YouTube tutorial that showed that Windex was a trick to do it, um, so I tried it on the last piece. I can't say that it did like way better than the other because you also have to make sure that you squeegee the Windex out really good, so whatever. I'm glad the countertops are on. I'm over it. I'm not sure I'm going to be working with contact paper anymore on a surface that is not like small, but um, yeah, I think I love it but I'll show you guys what it looks like in the morning. Because it's 11.09 and I'm going to bed.
Love and lust. Damn. All of us. Give me a run for my money. There is nobody, no one to help run.